speaking of lacking boundaries, uh, according to the New York Times, many Americans believe they live with a ghost. I can't. I, everything is geared to haunt me and scare me today. So the question is, what is the best way to cohabitate with a ghost? Does anybody have any tips for dealing with a ghost in, in your house? I might have like a way to, to make some money from it because I, I've never lived in a haunted house and I've never seen a ghost. And if you think about it, that's really weird because like I'm in the minority. Most people believe or and have seen ghosts yet there's still as of today, no scientific evidence to back this up. So if I lived with a ghost, I would be like, I am cashing in on this. I'm gonna collect the data, I'm gonna conduct studies, have a and I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna get other scientists yeah. in and finally get the evidence, and I'm gonna disprove the second law of thermodynamics, and because I do that, I get fame and I probably get wealth. So that, <laughs> you gotta catch the ghost and capitalize. You're gonna, gonna catch it. You're gonna, gonna be a ghost ghostbuster. You're gonna catch it. Essentially, you're gonna be a ghostbuster. Scientific ghostbuster. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to bring religion into this, but if you're Catholic, you believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You yeah. are automatically indoctrinated as a believer. And I think I've had a visit from my grandmother when I was young, the day, uh, the night of her funeral, and I believe she was sitting at the end of my bed. And guess what? When I told the family, it's like they started doing the rosary. Mm -hmm. and they believe that that's actually her as she was in sort of transition. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna say it wasn't true, it's so, actually part of my religion mm -hmm. to believe that. Having said that, I did go to a friend's house, I shared this story before, she has a cottage and they live with the original owner's ghost who owned that house. They even put a bell for him in the corner. Sorry, and wait, he wait, rings wait. Stop, the bell. stop, 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 yeah. stop. When they bought the house, like how did they know that there was a ghost that did lived Did they do the Chinese baby test? Uh, What's that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. They're not Chinese, so I don't oh, think okay. they did the Chinese baby test. So the Chinese baby test, if so let's say you're house hunting. Yeah. And you want to make sure, and it's not a new house, and you want to make sure that the home is clean. And by clean, we mean no, no spirits. spirits. Okay. You put right? a baby in there. You bring a baby. You ask a relative or whatever. You take a baby in the home. If Does it have to be a Chinese baby? No, it could be any baby. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. This is amazing. But a Chinese baby is probably more helpful. Like more in tune <laughs> with our things. <laughs> In our DNA, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you bring a baby, could be Chinese, could be not, and you bring a baby into the house. If the baby starts crying, fussing, acting, uh -huh. not... Babies wait, do that yes. all the time, though. Well, babies also attract spirits, because ghosts want to jump into the baby. Yeah. And, like, whatever. We're stopping so. this. Wow. All I was going to say was Chinese my dog test. could also be a Chinese baby, because my dog went ape that night and would not let us sleep looking at something yeah. in the corner. Hey there. Wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.